Yo, what is up guys? This is Troy D from the Troy D 24-7 Mall on Point Reviews all day, every day. First and foremost, I want to welcome my new subscribers. I mean, we're just growing literally every day. It's crazy. I want to say welcome to the channel. And um, I mean, what can I say? There's just a lot of videos you guys can peruse on. It's You can binge watch for so long but you know what on every video you will find really really good honest no hype information about these things that we are actually all pretty hyped about now speaking of hype today's video is none other than roja oceania the only oceania all right very very hyped in the roja sphere i'll talk about the hype in a minute but very very hyped uh, supposedly aquatic marine so We'll talk about Oceania today. This is care of my friend Ryan, who I've been trying to push to make his own channel. So let's all push Ryan to make his own channel. Thank you, Ryan, for sending over Oceania for me to review. What's this about, guys? What's up with the hype? Let's find out today. Let's hit the music. Okay guys, welcome back. Oceania. Man, lots of hype on this one. First off, the the box is amazing. It's sort of like the Burlington right there as you can see guys with the waves and everything, you know. And the bottle itself is not your average Roja as you can see here. Beautiful blue plate with the waves, blue crystal. Amazing. Look at that. <laughs> I'm hyped just looking at this. You know, a lot of the Rojas, the regular looking ones, they got the metal caps, right? And then once you up a tier, you know, one or two, you'll get the uh, the gemstone caps like this. You know, the, the UAE right here with the gemstone. Um, they just look absolutely great. They're great for stunting, whether in person or on Facebook slash Instagram, right? And that's one of the big reasons too. What's up with the hype? That is one of the big reasons why people are selling this out is because it just first and foremost it doesn't even look like your average roja you know it looks like it's a tier above you got the blue crystal different box different plate that's what's up with the hype and the fact that a lot of people are into aquatics and when you introduce something that's all about the ocean well people are going to be jumping the price of this one is 295 gbp and even the travel atomizer is only like 40 something so yeah that that's the reason why this always sells out there's also decanters buying this stuff up i know a friend of mine andy had bought probably four boxes of these and it was gone you know people were just wanting a decant of oceania okay so let's spray this real quickly right now Okay, so I want to say this, guys, okay? Before I begin, this fragrance is one of the very few that my kid, my daughter, actually complimented me on, okay? And I'll tell you her, her exact words. But the moment I did a full wear of this, she immediately told me, Dad, what is that? You smell good, right? And I said, well, it's this Oceania. She says, that one smells good. That one, she said, you know, that one smells like like orange and soda. <laughs> you know, she's a seven-year-old. Uh, she said yeah, it smells like orange and soda, okay? Now, uh, Oceania, going into the scent, guys, this is mainly a citrus scent, okay? And I will say that almost all citruses are here. You have lime, mandarin, bergamot, uh, lemon, and I would say that the citrus here is very high level maybe even like realistic smelling high level realistic smelling probably better than renaissance than by zhirzhov okay just by my memory of the citruses uh that is the most dominant i would say the dominant uh piece of oceania is actually citruses it's not actually the aquatic 
this one has grapefruit as well and this one has a note uh, that is basically called uh, Litsia Kubeba which is basically an oil a citrus oil that makes it sharp and sweet okay so you know you will really get a strong dose of citruses of Oceania in the beginning very strong high level realistic kabumi you know I mean it will hit people around you and it's absolutely nice now there is an element of Oceania that's somewhat spicy now just I mean it's not even spicy just a little bit of spice and that's care of lavender thyme and rosemary all likable notes uh, the lavender thyme and rosemary just give a little bit of that spicy kick but not so much because again the natural smelling citrus is here I mean basically all the citruses here come in unison I mean think about it lemon lime grapefruit mandarin orange I mean all of them coming together will outbeat anything you know so the spicy like lavender elements are just there to give a little hint of spice but it doesn't take over the fact that this is a citrusy scent now as you continue probably within minutes of Oceania uh, what I really do like about this too is how Roja kind of creates the marine smell without the marine smell basically he didn't use like ambergris in this or anything else that would remind me of the other things I own which is like uh, Osaito or uh, Tom Ford's uh, Oud Mineral, like, I was, like, actually apprehensive about this, and I was like, man, I don't want another one, please, and so he does it in a different way, using different notes to kind of recreate the marine smell, and, you know, just in my book, I mean, that's basically, you know, that iris, I think there's, like, a lot of cedar here, uh, and the cedar is probably my favorite one, like, the curve into the cedar, uh, from the citrus and even the floral elements is something I really like reminds me of the sea uh, seaside rather uh, with that woody element and uh, Yeah, this one also has like, you know geranium. This one has jasmine. This one has elang again all elements that are really really great But they don't really outbeat the citrus. I mean you will really get citrus some aromatic spicy kick and then you'll get the woody marine uh, type smell and I think the marine type smell here really comes also from the iris the iris violet uh, combo here I think that it does recreate somewhat of a marine smell because it's kind of powdery it's not a lot of iris it's just enough and so it, you know it does it doesn't make you think that you are kind of owning a powdery scent okay and then the dry down here is you know benzoin sandalwood musk vetiver uh, there's some juniper berries still some galbanum which is like a resin and then some oak moss um, you know it's it it's uh, you could say slight resinous yeah a little bit of that musk but I mean ultimately in my opinion Oceania is just all about the citrus and the marine okay so uh, that's what you'll get and it's a high level natural smelling citrus I would buy this if I got the money for it my impression of this is that Oceania is the grabber for the the ones that can you know what I mean <laughs> like uh, it, I mean it, it, it's citrus it's woody it's marine you know the things that to be honest you can find in many many other fragrances but um, I think that if your price bracket, your, your, your income bracket, price bracket, budget bracket is on the Roja, you know, the 295 uh, GBP range, I think that, yeah, whatever, just buy it. You know what I mean? For me, I would buy it uh, specifically because it's also like a nice uh, value fragrance. Okay. This is something that sells out because other people love it. Uh, other people really buy it. Maybe a lot of people are on that you know income range but because you know of that you know this makes it highly valuable whether uh, you use it you decan it you trade it you know like I told you you know my friend Andy decanted several bottles of this um, makes it really really valuable in my opinion because there's just a lot of people that in my opinion are getting into Roja you know they want to know what's the entry-level Roja and what's the entry-level Roja that's a little bit fancier I think Oceania with the blue cap and uh, everything, I mean, I think 
it's like an entry-level roja but a little bit fancier ultimately the scent is citric uh, woody spicy somewhat aromatic uh, it will remind you of the seaside breeze okay it's not crazy mind-blowing to me but it is a grabber you know it is a grabber if I had owned this one this would have been my citrus grabber 100% my daughter loves it as you can tell so you know you're gonna get the compliments you know there's that fizz in it that makes it smell kind of like soda fizz but it's actually the marine type of smell that my daughter was smelling and then obviously citrus is great even right now it's still hot right now okay so yeah that's it that's my video simple simple video on Oceania yeah I mean when I got this I had a feeling that it wasn't gonna be that hard uh, I just appreciate the smell for what it is uh, and I want to thank my friend Ryan again who sent this to us uh, hopefully he opens his own channel because he's really into all the exotic stuff you know so I guess that's why he sent this to me he was like I don't need this you know this grabber <laughs> but i hope he uh opens the channel because he's into the arig stuff uh dixit dixit and zach I, I hope i said that correctly i think it's dick dick shit and zach i'm not sure please correct me uh on the comments but i hope he starts his own channel because that's really his speciality and you know i always encourage people you know whatever your speciality is bring it out on youtube you know what i mean um yeah i like it i mean would i have bought it eh, i don't think so but it would be nice to to trade it around i would have if i had something and somebody wanted to trade out oceania i would have traded for it because this would be a blue chip down the road anyways okay so that's it that's my video on oceania make sure you guys like this video and subscribe and comment below whatever you guys think about oceania have you owned it what do you guys think okay you blown away or so so or not let me know okay and until then this is troy d I'll see you guys tomorrow.